it was one of the worst feelings that I felt. Our whole mindset is winning. Uh, you can tell after last year, seeing all our demeanor when, when we didn't went to go to playoffs last year, and we're all hungry. And I, as I speak right now, our guys are back home working out right now, grinding, ready to compete um, on the 30th when we play Idaho. So we're, we're ready this season. We're going to be able to bring it. If you're trying to do things year in and year out, you're going to have some years where things aren't perfect and you still have to find ways you know, to get it done. And that's something I think we learned a lot of last year, especially when you play in a tough conference like we play in and you play a tough schedule. It's such a fine line between, between being 500, even below 500 team, and maybe making a run at the playoffs. He's a great guy. He's really mature. He, he's been through the process and he's ready to compete. I do with them multiple times already and his ball placement is, is, is really good. And um, I'm, I'm really excited to see him with the pads. And so that's our next step to, uh, to keep him healthy, to keep every, every, every other guy healthy as well. He was an underrated, you know, uh, player for us in 2010. I mean, he didn't necessarily have the numbers that a J.C. Sherrod had at linebacker, and obviously there were numbers on offense with Taiwan Jones and Brandon Kaufman. But Zach Johnson was the he played his position at Willie linebacker. And a lot of times he'd take away two thirds of the field, you know, so he may not. You know, come up with certain stats and certain things to show up on paper, but we saw it week in and week out. He was so pivotal in what we were able to do defensively and take away, you know, that weak side of the field and 